Hey guys, what's up? And uh, we are making a dose to do tutorial. Yeah. I'm going to share my awesomeness with the devil steak along with you. First step, I buy a pair of devil sticks. Pretty easy. You can probably get one from Five Below and, you know, pretty much in any shop. Uh, I would say eBay, but, you know, it's your choice, you know. I don't really care where you are. Yeah. Okay. Once you've bought your devil sticks, I go down and then just, like, take a knee. Put your devil stick straight up and pull your left hand stick. Yeah, it doesn't look like this. So left stick, but yeah. Put it here and then give it like a slight, give it a push enough to make it go over here. Push it, then catch it, and push it too hard. And I'm teaching you. All right. So you push it and then you catch it. Push it, catch it, push it, catch it. Do this for, I'm um, not saying a certain amount, but I'm just saying, when you still get the hang of it, and then start doing this. There we go. Nah. I'll go back a little bit more. Then start doing this. Left hand stick. <laughs> Here, let me get this. Your left hand stick is under the devil stick. Your right hand stick is over the devil stick. Doesn't matter how, but you know, as you start. And it's leaning over here. And then you go over, you push it, and then you change sides. Then you change it over to the right hand stick is under the devil stick and the left hand stick is on top of the devil stick. And then you keep on doing that. Then you start moving up. But people start doing this. And then it keeps on falling. You gotta be relaxed. You relax. You start standing up. I can stand up. Stay, stay. And then you can do a trick that a trick I was telling you about. Pops. You can start from the bottom. And after that, um, after that, you're pretty used to it. Then you can try a small spin. Just one. Quick. Push it over. This is how to do a spin. You um, as you're devil sticking, wait for your your stick to get over here, and then move. Then move this. Then move this stick out of the way, and then just push with your right stick. I'm not saying like like nuts. Just saying enough to make it start spinning. Then you let go. Then you keep on spinning. Don't put your stick at the very end, because then it's harder to control. So it's harder to control if it's at the very end. Put it down about, I'd say, darn, it can't give you, yeah, right here, say right here. That's where you put it. And then push down and let, and actually momentum's ha helping you over here. And if you, Feel it's dropping. Just put, just put, just um, start over with the double stick. Spin, spin, spin. Oh no, I'm losing it. Bring in the left stick. After that, you can learn um, a bit more harder tricks. Oh yeah, I uh, forgot to tell you the most important. The fire. As you um, put the double stick. Right here, your, your thumbs, your thumb should be like holding on to it so it doesn't move away from you. And then just, just um, start putting both of your sticks down at the same time, which will make the dough stick begin to roll. And at almost at the end, at um, when you're about here, throw up the dough stick and catch it. Like this. Alright? And then you can begin your double stick. Uh, a trick that goes along with that is you can start from here. This is a little bit cool. And then throw it up and catch it. 
or you can even start from here. Looks cool. Sort of. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. You're like, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Huzzah! Oh no! Alright. Let me think of another picture. Oh, here we go. Position your hand in the middle of the stick, both of your hands in the middle of the stick. And then you could try to do this, but I don't usually do it, like mess it up myself. And um, the hard part about this trick is you need to learn how to shoot it off earlier. And then, as soon as you shoot it off, I'm going to do this in FOMO. Let's say I just throw it up. It's going up, it's going up. And then, when it's about here, you take both of your hand sticks, and like, just like go like this. Just catch them, like right here. And then, just let go of them and catch it again. It's a very good um, time trick. Really cool. And, uh, okay. Another version of that trick is um, only one of your dominant hand is the only one. My right hand is in the middle only. That's the hard part about this trick. Is then you've got to like pronounce it correctly and stuff. Then you go down here. And you catch it with one hand. The trick to this, everybody thinks, how is he balancing it? What? You aren't. You actually, when you catch it, nobody can see this. Watch. Tell me if you can see this thing. You don't see me holding it now, do you? You see me balancing it. See your, your hand right here? It's balancing it and stopping it from rolling away from you. And then. You quickly let go and let it fly up. Alright. Here's a very hard trick. It took me a very long time to learn. I still can't do it right though. I don't know what this is called, but there you go. This is how you do it. You put your left hand stick on the front of the devil stick. And you put your other one, and you put your other one on the top, and you you put it like right here. Make sure it doesn't hit you on the chin. Make sure you have a really good distance, and then keep on pushing it. All right, that's a nice little trick. That's um, those are some of the good tricks in double stick. You could Google it, um, double stick tricks. I'm showing you all the tricks. There are many, many more tricks to this game. Alright, uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Hope you liked my video. Please rate. Oh no!